Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can configure a global Microsoft 365 uh, theme and a logo. Uh, first, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this uh, horizontal bar over here that you see, all right? Um, so uh, by default, uh, I think it appears blue or something like that, or, uh, you know, or black, uh, but you can customize it uh, and uh, essentially change the color of this bar uh, to any other color. And you can also install the logo as well. Um, and, uh, you know, typically when you configure branding right for your, let's say, SharePoint site, you can, of course, you know, navigate to the site and, you know, change the look and feel and, you know, essentially the theme, um, you know, using one of the color palettes. However, this does not impact the stop bar, all right? Uh, the colors you choose will only brand the SharePoint, you know, sites themselves, but this bar, uh, it's kind of independent of it, all right? It's a global Microsoft 365, um, uh, you know, uh, bar uh, that, um, that you need to configure in the admin center. Now, I actually recorded uh, a video, a similar video a few years ago. However, there were a few additional functionalities introduced, so I decided to uh, record this again. Uh, but uh, let me first show you how to set it up, and then I'll show you the impact of, uh, of the setup. So uh, to set it up, you do need to be a global admin, all right? Very important. If you are just a SharePoint admin or any other admin, Teams admin, admin doesn't really matter. You do need to be a global Microsoft 365 admin to configure this. So you navigate to the admin center. And then from the admin center, you click on uh, settings, org settings, and then organization profile. And right here, custom themes, all right? So uh, now by default, you're not going to uh, actually have any themes. By default, it's kind of an out of the box theme. Uh, so what you will need to do is click uh, add a theme, all right? Uh, but in my case, I already configured it. So let me show you. Uh, so you just click. So once again, you click uh, add a theme to create the very first theme. Uh, and there are a few choices that you will have to make here. So first of all, uh, you will be able to prevent users from overriding their theme. Uh, there is actually a setting where each and every user can just kind of pick their own, uh, you know, theme and override it. If you don't want that to occur, uh, you need to check that box. But the most uh, exciting things happen here. This is where the setup happens. So you know what? I'll probably start with uh, colors. Um, this is self-explanatory. It actually shows you a preview, but you can alter the, uh, you know, essentially uh, uh, the, the uh, you know, the uh, specific colors of the bar and the text and accent colors. It will give you a preview of, uh, you know, how it will all look like. So you can, you know, specify your specific, you know, hex colors, etc. All right. Uh, so pretty straightforward. Now let's go to logos. Uh, this is optional, but very, very handy. So what you can do is, you see how I have this, um, you know, logo, right, of my company. And essentially what you can do, you can upload a logo in here. And it has to be a very specific size. So make sure to, you know, uh, click here and it will give you all the, you know, the specific size that the logo needs uh, to be. Uh, it really needs to be really, really small. Uh, but the beauty about this logo is that you can also specify the URL. So it's a clickable logo. So uh, no matter where you, the users are, they can click on this logo and get to some particular website. Usually, usually, right, it would be, let's say, your company internet site that you would set up in SharePoint. So that's exactly what I did here, you see. So essentially, you, um, again, configure the colors, upload your logo. And it does take some time, sometimes up to 24 hours, but some of, it, some of the effects you will probably see right away, but it will take up to 24 hours to propagate. Uh, but essentially, when it's all said and done, uh, it will pretty much, you know, configure this bar according to the colors you specified and put in the logo. And here's a cool thing about this bar. Uh, the, the beauty about this bar is that it's present in most of the other applications uh, that you have that are part of uh, Microsoft 365. Let me give you an example, a few examples. I'll go to my OneDrive. I'll look at this. Here's my OneDrive, but at the same time, I, you know, my bar is over here. 
And you know, remember how I said this logo logo is clickable? I click on it. It brings me straight to that URL to that internet. So, all right. So again, uh, let me show you another example. Let's go to Outlook. All right, same thing. Look at this. All right, it, it shows me the bar with the colors are specified. You know, it's Outlook, but then I click on the logo. It brings me back, and so on. Right, you can check all the other applications uh, as well, and uh, you will notice that the experiences are the same. It's pretty consistent, and that's very cool. Uh, I, I specifically like this clickable logo thing because uh, it will allow your users, no matter where they are, which app they're in, uh, they can just click on the logo and they will be brought uh, to the internet portal to your home site immediately, right? Now, let me show you another thing that has actually changed recently, this new feature that we did not have just a few years ago when I recorded uh, the original video. So let's go back to the admin center and uh, let's navigate back to the, again, settings, org settings, organization profile, custom themes. So just like I said, you know, when you uh, create this, um, you know, theme, all right, uh, initially it will be blank, right? Uh, when you don't have any themes, initially it will be blank. So you just click add a theme and, uh, you know, essentially um, you will be creating the new default uh, theme. But you also have an option to create, you know, optional themes, alternate themes. And just like it, you know, it, um, uh, you know, you know, tells you over here, Essentially, it, you can actually create those themes and target specific users. Let's say um, you have certain users, maybe they are, I don't know, part-time users or part of leadership committee or something like that, or part of the board. And you want to create a little bit different experience with a different, um, you know, color, you know, in a bar, maybe even a different logo in the bar. You can do that. So for that, you click add a theme, all right? And uh, essentially, yeah, you just, you know, the steps are the same. You just, you know, customize the uh, colors, the logo, uh, and obviously you give it a name. But here's an extra field that we now have. You see, uh, essentially by default, the, the default theme is visible to everyone, but you can actually specify, you know, what maybe I want my HR team, for whatever reason, I want them to see a different, you know, different ribbon over here, different bar. So uh, you can do it now with those alternate uh, themes that you can create, right? And it tells us here you can actually specify up to five security groups to target it, all right? Um, but uh, yeah, just gives you another option. And as you create those alternate themes, they will just appear here in the list, all right? Uh, once again, by default, everyone will see the default theme. But if you have created a custom theme and you targeted specific security groups, you know, AD groups or Microsoft 365 groups, um, you you know, those people will get to see the alternate theme you created. So that's all I wanted to show in this particular uh, video. Hopefully you learned something new as always. Happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.